Hi, this is Christina. I'm the JBoss Technology Evangelist, and I'm here to talk about the second Home Loan Quick Start demo. And before we begin, I want to talk a little bit about why JBoss views. Within the current um, enterprise, things are very complicated, and there are many different systems that you need to talk to and integrate with. And it's not just simply the case of talking the same language or just connecting all the system together. It's not just the, it's not often the case because you will have you will have like different protocols and different data formats to talk with. So it's a headache of bringing all this together. And since we're in the cloud era, there are many services that are already provided on the cloud. So with like Facebook or Twitter or Salesforce. So there's a need of us integrating all these uh, services on the cloud, as well as the things that you have to integrate within the uh, your premises. So things got very complicated. And so JBoss Fuse is a great middleware that bring, makes it very easy to integrate not with not just within your premise with your premises, but also on the cloud or even both of them together as a hybrid integrated system. So what how, how does JBoss Fuse does that? So within JBoss Fuse, there's a, a component called Apache Camel. So on the Apache Camel, they uh, we have a lot of um, built-in components that's already done the difficult parts for you. So um, what you have to do is just concentrating on the bits and parts like how to integrate, um, how to put things together, like uh, the, the logic of putting it together and the actual business logic that you need to implement. So every um, complicated thing on bits and pieces are already done for you, um, like um, talking a, to a JMS such as AMQ or uh, a message broker such as AMQ or um, um, a database or um, FTP. This is all done for you. and. We have around 140 certified components um, on JBoss View 6.1, and I'm, I believe there's more coming. So uh, let's go to the, our, the, our demo. So our demo, this is the second part. So this is um, a home loan demo that takes in um, information from the other applications, from the other vendors. So they basically what they do is they're sending the um, customer information and the, the house information into our integrating system. and we pick up this information and we, we are going to further process it. And the first part of our demo is that we, got, we took the, um, the XML file and put it in the queue. And we did some um, calculations um, before that. So this is already done in part one. So in part two, what we're doing is that after we get the information and process it, we want to um, persist it into a database. So we're going to take the information and store it into a, a Postgres DB which I had in my in my um, laptop and so for this um, quick start demo is that I'm going to take the information I got and process and put it I got from the messaging queue and I'm going to do a little um, transformations like making the XML file into a POJO and put it in into um, my Postgres database and um, there's there are many components on JBoss views that interact with um, database such as um, JDBCs, HiberNet, JPAs, and I'm choosing SQL because it's the most simple, simple and obvious one. So it's it's good for quick starts. But I'm going to talk a little bit more on the other components as well in the future. So let's get started with our demo. And go back to the previous demo that we have done, and we're going to add new requirements um, into our palm.xml. So uh, we're going to add it inside. And for fix 6.1, we're going to use the version for um, Camo is what we're going to use is 2.12. Uh, 2 so we're going to edit the dependencies that I have created and put it inside. And the dependencies that we have here, it will be mostly about SQLs because we're going to insert a table, uh, data into the database. So we are going to um, put in um, dry, uh, dependencies like Postgres drivers and the um, uh, data source components and SQL components, things like that. And we're going to create a new camel routes XML defining defining file into uh, our new our projects because we don't want to mix up the um, the one that we used before. So this is the new one and this is the old one that we have done in our previous demo. Okay, go back to our um, new one and I always like to add IDs in in my uh, 
camel routes and my contacts because it's easier for um, debugging. Okay, so now we have um, the IDs done. And um, what we're going to do here is we're going to add these data source settings and the um, tables. And for, for our tables, we have two different tables in our, our Postgres database. We have one for customer and the other one for house. So this is the um, data source setting um, in the camel route. We want to put this in so that the SQL components know where to find our data, our drivers and our um, uh, settings like user and password. And we're going to map it into the SQL components that we have here. And the other thing for SQL is that because we are going to use a lot of um, insert and select uh, SQL statements for our uh, demo. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a, a property file to, to store all the SQLs that we're going to use for this example. So this is a simple property file and this is all the SQL, SQL statements that we're going to use for our demo. And we don't want to put this in the camera routes because it's going to be a little bit messy. So uh, we just put it inside this property and reference it back later. And then we are going to map the uh, the, the property file into the camel context. So we put a property placeholder with its name and locations in. Now we can start um, putting our endpoint with the um, ActiveMQ, the, the customer queue that we have put it in from the previous demo. And so we're getting the data out from it. After that, we're going to transform the data into the POJO. And to do that, we're going to use um, JXB. And as from the previous demo, we uh, this is all the same. So just putting in the uh, context path and the uh, class class file that we going, want it to be transformed into. So um, it's all the same. And then we want to um, set the, uh, inf the 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 data we want to insert into the header because it's it's going to be used later on for from the um, SQL components. So it's going to look for all the data from the header with the header name. Let's uh, related and written in the SQL statement. And how do we get this data? This data is um, in the body, the POJO that we have um, transformed. So we are going to put the, get the data from the body. And we, I can't be bothered to drag all of them. So this is a little cheat. I'm going, I just put, it, put the XML file in. So it's just setting all the data. And now we're going to drag all the, um, the, uh, the endpoint for SQL components. So for SQL components, we are going to um, put in the uh, SQL statement that we going we already is assigned in the components file. So it's the insert component. So it, it will automatically look for the um, insert profile once we run it. So this is um, basically it. So just run the Maven install. So it's gonna compile and you know uh, place and reinstall the Maven com um, repository again. And now we're going to run the uh, camel. And remember, this is just a testing. For, uh, for the last part of my demo, which is around three more demos to go, I'm going to um, deploy it onto our um, Fuse container. And now we're going to put the uh, data in. And you'll see all the um, customer infos are inserted into the database. Thanks. And now that's all for our demo. And uh, after this demo, I'm going to I have another demo three coming up. And all the source code uh, for my demo one and demo two are under my um, GitHub account. So you can find all the uh, demos and the source code from it in my GitHub. And also you everything coming out from me will be on my blog. So I'm, you are, I'm more than happy if you want to have a look at it and that's it. Thank you.